generic greetings and welcome back to the first video of 2020 on the channel. So, new year, new me, new game. Oh, actually, wait, we're back on Prison Architect. Oh, well, in the previous episode, which was last year, we went ahead and added in this extra cell block. This is cell block A, B, C, D. And we actually have a grant for cell block D, as you can see on the left-hand side there, to raise the prisoner capacity to 200. However, we probably won't ever get that done because we're currently on 100 and I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze in uh, double that again in this size of map. But anyway, we need to wire this thing up. As you can see, we need to put in all of the electrical connections as well as the plumbing. We also have a little bit of a problem in the kitchen because the fridge isn't connected. And also, for some reason, that cooker is saying it's out of bounds. Let me just go to room and then to kitchen there. And I'm guessing it's just a problem with, yeah, all that's happened is the uh, the flooring, sorry, the uh, designation was removed when we had that fire. Let me just go to utilities, electrical cable and clicky. And that should be actually not. Yeah, yeah, that'll be all connected up. Now, excellent. We have a lot of stuff to do, but we're going to have a bit of a recap because obviously it's been a little while since we've been on this. We'll put it to normal speed and let the people crack on there. In fact, what I'll do is while we're waiting, we will extend this up and like so, just so we can uh, uh, have them working while we recap. So as you can see, we have our psych ward facility here. We have the one, two, three cell blocks, which each has their own uh, associated yard, common room, tunnel and that could be legitimate unlikely because it would normally come straight from there but we will do a tunnel search tonight so you've got your common room you've got your yard we've got also the shower down the bottom there as well as the canteen this is very inefficient and it's something that we noted right at the start of the series and obviously there's no toilets there as well so i better put those back in uh let's have a quick scroll in and toilets there we go so we've got one two three four and that should be now sorted excellent we have our infirmary in the centre here, which is quite large. In fact, I would even call it oversized. And we do have some treatments running there as well. We'll check those out in a bit. The kitchen is obviously in the centre as well. So we cook the food here, send it to these canteens. Normally, you would have a central kitchen and canteen where they come to it. But we decided to do something just a bit different there. We've got our laundry and the cleaning cupboard. The cleaning cupboard obviously not working as it should be because, well, it's absolutely filthy around this place. We have our sort of decentralised area for the chapel, the store, the classroom, which is uh, being run quite successfully, is, uh, is uh, denoted by the fact that that guy is teaching to a brick wall. Uh, we have two rooms here which we don't actually have anything in just yet, but one of them will be a library, I think. Prowl on the left-hand side. Then we have our, apparently, reform session and a ding-a-ling noise. Ah, oh, that's have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. Ah. Oh. That's pretty good, so that must have just finished on here. So a lot of these, apparently that person is playing pool. I guess it's like playing air pool, like air guitar type stuff. It's just in their mind. Uh, estimate reoffending chance 2%. You can see good punishment, reform, and everything else in terms of their experience. Reform, program history, foundation education program, success. And if we check on these others here, so Armand, we can see where they've oh, actually failed the foundation education program, but they've passed the pharmacological treatment to drug addiction, which is good. Uh, Jerem here, success on that program. Uh, this is cool. Johnny cool. Well, wow. Foundation Education Program success. You can see the sort of trend we have going here. And uh, served six years of six years. So they're about to be released like literally any second. You can see it's just about to end. And uh, there you go. Oh, it says working now, but the person next to them has been released. They will be released very, very shortly. Anyway. Um, where were we? Yes, down the bottom we have our power room and storage. This is all of our uh, offices, so we've got the chief and psychologist and that sort of thing. We do have the kennel here, the staff room. Both we need, uh, need obviously, put some flooring in there, but we'll get onto that at some point. We've got the main perimeter wall around the outside. The only problem is, uh, well, well, yeah, I'm going to cover these things in a moment. Uh, we've got our <laughs> criminally insane wing down the bottom here, which has things like the shower, the... Uh, Main area for prisoners, the yard, common room, our solitary area, which we don't actually have solitary in the main bulk of the facility, but we do have them down here. And apparently that person wants to go at the solitary to use the toilet. Huh. Uh, we've got, for some reason, the uh, holding cell there and then the canteen up the top. So overall, we have good uh, prisoner holding capability. We have a fairly decent facilities across the board there was there's only a couple of gaps and holes that we don't really have uh, filled yet for example we don't have this area built which is eventually going to become our 
a protective custody area. We don't have the psychologists around here to do treatment. And other than that, really, we're pretty much all right. In terms of grading, we can have a quick look. You see, reoffending rate has dropped to 7%, which is good. That's 71 prisoners released. Punishment is high at 8. Reform, 5. So middling. Security has gone up to 3. And then we've got health at minus 1. So... Still a problem with that health. We're probably going to have to do the well-fed thing, but that does require us to alter our policy. Oh, no, a meal quantity and variety is at high, so that should mean that they are well-fed, but they'll only eat once because if we check the regime, we have... No, we have two eat times, so I'm guessing we're just waiting for that to kick in. In terms of programs, we are running Foundation Education Program. You can see 13 passed with a 65% pass rate. That is good. Pharmacological treatment to drug addiction, we have a 5 passed on 55%. Alcohol group therapy is running with not a great pass rate, but there you go. Parole hearing, it's so big we have to scroll past it. We've got spiritual guidance on a 69% pass rate. We've got the psychiatric consultation which is actually in the uh, psychiatrist's office over here. Workshop safety induction and kitchen safety and hygiene. There's a lot of interest, but we're not going to run either. And then we have general education qualification, which we are going to start because we have to get one prisoner passing the general education course in order to finish the reform through education initiative. Speaking of grants, we have three grants. The reform through education initiative, uh, previously mentioned there. Manufacturing facility, which we won't be building. And cell block D, which we won't be completing. No uh, bank loan is currently out. And the total price of the prison, if you were to buy this new from the book, would be three. 370,000 generic units of currency. Right, let's actually get on with some building, uh, but with about 10 grand, that's probably going to be suboptimal. Okay, so we have this cell block here, which is currently now lit up. We're going to go over to our utilities and then the small pipe, and we will run I'm just going to check how we did it. Uh, actually, we're going to run the large pipe up into there first, and then it will be the small pipe, which runs right up to the top, and then we basically put these little T-sections in like so, and that'll get everything connected. I also probably need to check, because it has been a few weeks since I've been on this myself, uh, whether or not we have the per uh, patrol around the outside. Deployment, patrols, and no, we don't have it. So that's at least good that I remembered to at least try and put it in. So we're going to uh, have this patrol route around the outside with obviously a dog handler, and there we go. And oh, that's actually only set to schedule one. We don't want that to set to schedule one. We want to set to all things. In fact, one could argue that the per the times you want it are when they're not in this main six to nine schedule. We want it at night when they could be tunneling. Speaking of the dog handlers, we have had some problems with those, and indeed many other things, and someone just flashed a rope around here. Hmm, I'll find it eventually. Yeah, we have a problem, and it's to do with the bridges, which is our kryptonite. It's the thing that really has done us in quite a bit in this series, because, well, quite frankly, they don't work very well. Although, that person did seem to walk across it okay there. People just don't seem to want to walk across it, and we had the dog handlers stuck on that bridge, and also people like to uh, rest on this bridge. I mean, fair enough if they've got a fishing line, just fling it over and, you know, catch some bass or whatever they want to do. Uh, other, uh, you know, walk water-dwelling creatures are available to catch in this lake. Uh, probably a cold as well, but there you go. And, yeah, they just sort of hang around on this place. I don't know why. It's just interesting and when I say interesting, please read. Annoying, but uh, there you are. We can see that they are actually going back into here. Yeah, there you are. So in terms of our amount of guards, we have 20 normal guards, 6 oddlies, 12 cooks, 1 gardener, 2 janters, 4 doctors, 12 workers, and 8 dog handlers, which we are going to increase to 10, because I think that would be a reasonable uh, thing to do. We currently have lockup. Uh, we did change the lockup from the centre. If we look at the policy here, sorry, the um, schedule regime, there we go. We did have originally lockup in the centre, so we had 4 hours of work, and then couple of hours of lock-up and then four hours of work. And it was just problematic for them to go back and forward. So instead, we should have these straight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours of work slash free time. And then they'll crack on. Obviously, the criminally insane inmates, which are situated around here, they don't have work. That's not something that they can do. Instead, they're just uh, going for treatment. You can see that this is now all connected, which is excellent. Over there is the same thing, and everybody is eating fairly okay. That is pretty good. On oh, some uh, early prisoner release stuff, because obviously the uh, different uh, paroles and stuff are going off as well. So we'll put up to max speed, which is new max speed. 21 prisoners will be arriving in the morning. Let's double check our... 
deployment here. This is all set to criminally insane. It's uh, very difficult to see because of the uh, the darkness of it. Uh, that should be set to... don't know what we should need to set that to, actually. That's probably okay as it is. There you are. We've got some shop sales, commissions, and other things. And we're going to do a shakedown. So we have 498 places to search and not enough guards to do it. Today's beverage is chamomile tea. So we have some things found on people here. Um, it's not too much of a problem if we find things because we basically just... <laughs> if you find anything in their cell, we go, you shouldn't have had that. You now have lockup in this cell for two hours, which is pretty much where they were going to be in the first place. So not too much of an issue. And we have a tunnel, our first tunnel we have found so far there you can see we've got the sort of bowling ball head actually that's a basketball by the look of it and yeah a bit of a tunnel so we'll go over to actually we won't go to remove tunnels just yet we'll wait until we'll wait until uh we've finished searching the rest of it because the chances are we'll find more tunnels as well we do tend to have a bit of a problem when it comes to tunneling which is why we have the uh dog cat guard dogs going around and uh, sniffing this out obviously we don't have patrols inside these cell blocks because once again we decided to do something different and we've turned fog of war off and the mayor is calling that should be uh, the that should be them to say that we can now add the weight benches back into the yards the media have moved on to something else and the bill banning weight benches from yards has been repealed feel free to reinstall them yes i didn't remove them in the first place but there you are uh, instead what we did is remove the yard section from the yard because well, we're mavericks, obviously. We like to live dangerously. And over there as well. There we are. So that is sorted. Excellent. So that's now all being added back in. That's what we want. So back up to max speed. We're going to receive a fairly big intake in the morning. Uh, 21 minimum security prisoners will be arriving at 8am in the finest levels of luxury in the monkey bus that smells of unspeakableness. So... Uh, we'll have a little search and see what they are like. Let's go over to our intelligence and informants and we will see just who we have. This is obviously minimum security. We did have the original intention of maybe moving this over to a higher rating of facility so maybe medium and then go up from there but we have the added challenges obviously the criminally insane inmates and something this is something we just wanted to focus on uh in the series rather than having to deal with uh, other inmates also we've got like ex-law enforcement we currently don't have anywhere for them to be protected like the protective custody so having anything other than law sec would be problematic we do have a uh, ex law enforcement quick <laughs> ex law enforcement quick and skill fight in the first jail bus in the second we have a confused person and we should technically get a third bus should we i believe so yet yeah, uh that is free of traits well the bus itself is free of traits maybe a dodgy starter motor but i'm saying that the, you know the people inside are free of traits so there we go we've got lots of people coming in and they're being searched we now have 20 grand in order to spend on whatever we want and we'll probably spend it on quick building cloning and cloning this entire section here and it will go in there will it it will go in but it also will end up removing parts that we don't want to remove so we'll place it in there and that is a nice chunk of change being spent. We'll then have to add a bit of flooring around the bottom there, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Although it is currently a bit of an issue because we don't have the money to do so. Although we might just get away with it. Uh, yes, we will. So we're going to put that in there like so. And then that is all that flooring in. We're going to speed up to max speed and let them crack on. Obviously, the guards are currently busy on searching these prisoners and then taking them to their new home. And you can see that they are doing a bit of a dot matrix impression by going sort of scanning, going right from top to bottom, and that is now being generated. Then we'll put all the yard in, and then the bottom bit there, and all that sort of good stuff. What I've been wanting to do for quite some time, actually, got a flooring and put the grass in here because it should look a bit better than what it does. And that person is very, very fast. Ed. Pettit, prison number 3474710, wasn't having too good of a time there, sadly, uh, although they have calmed down a little bit. You can see the status is agitated. They do have 
needs like spirituality and things like that um it's an interesting it's an interesting situation that we have really that obviously these prisoners are away from the uh i don't want to use the word normal but obviously the criminal inmates are away from the standard rating of uh, prisoners ranging from low risk up to supermax they don't uh, integrate and don't go around there um they instead just basically uh, go and stick around their own cells and they can't go to things like the uh, classroom and the uh, the chapel so even though they do have these spirituality needs they're not fulfilling them what might what we might be able to get away with is putting some prayer mats in prayer mats insufficient funds but if we put some prayer mats in the common room we might get away with that it might work we'll see we'll see we'll just uh we'll just increase the speed there and wait for things to be sorted you can see that a guard's wandering in there but that's currently not built it's actually very difficult to see exactly what is built in the facility and why are those there those are definitely hand dries on the wall that's a bit weird it's some sort of yeah look you see it's again from the wall i mean i assume that's just a a graphics error like it, it it's the cloning has designated them to be placed and they will go on the wall and you can actually see oh i can't uh, oh, i can't see them in there i'm guessing it's just drawing them that way and as soon as this becomes a proper building they'll go and move to the left and right yeah, we'll see. So we have got some prisoners leaving there, and strangely, we're now in minus three grand. Don't, don't entirely know why that is. Oh, because someone spent four and a half grand on phone booths. I mean, that's fair point well made. Okay. We will lock open that door, as is the standard procedure. Apparently, an orderly is very laid back from that stance. <laughs> That's like the opposite of Nerd Hunch. Um, and for some reason, they are kicking around this yard. I mean, you know, you do you. I mean, y your payroll... Uh, ooh, ooh, hang on. Overdose there. Paul. Looks like they're taken to the infirmary. That's good. Yeah, that person should be literally at the other side of the prison. Like, <laughs> diagonally across to there. So I don't know why they're hanging around there. You, get back there, please. Hmm. Excellent. I mean, it's like a long walk across this place. Oh, hang on. They're trying to cross the bridge, and... Oh, actually, success. <laughs> Pretty much without incident. Fair enough. Anyway, so we've locked that door open. These are all locked open. You can see all of the stuff has been built there. We've got early prisoner releases. Let's just have a quick look at our prison grading. Uh, oh, it's gone up to 8%. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, what I forgot to do as well. Uh, remove tunnels, and there we go. So we'll remove all of that tunnel, all of that tiny bit of tunnel ranging from there to there um pretty much just removing the foundation underneath the bed which is not good at all but there you are so that's that pretty much done we've got a little bit of wiring to do i'm just going to double check speaking of that uh capacity is fine that's good and oh that part of the building doesn't actually have electrical power but all the lights do and it's only usb 1.0 nobody uses those in the corner anyway so we're fine so we'll run this electrical cable across and stop that because no money and brilliant so once this is built we need to focus on what the next thing will be this will be pretty much our almost max capacity we do obviously have the criminal insane admit in here which if we double check actually it says criminal insane capacity 24 and we only have 13 criminal insane admit so what i'm going to do is go over to intake and to put our uh prisoner transfer no definitely not but we do want to have criminal insane we're going to open up that there just to say um ah oh. There's no middle ground there. We'll just say fil filter capacity because why not? Um, it would have been nice to have some spare cells, some empty cells, because if any of these 
prisoners morph to the criminally insane rating that should be locked open there we go uh it means we do we do we have some problems there we don't have any space but we do have a padded holding cell so at least we do have that uh, situation sort of under control there let's just go over to our objects then and we will go for the prayer mat here and we'll place those in probably just in a couple of rows here i'm hoping that resolves the issue we do have let's just double check our prisoners here we do have need for luxuries and environments and drugs luxuries stays calm very calm indeed i mean to be fair looking at that floor i wouldn't be calm i'd be uh asking where's the vacuum and or mop and or bleach and or Quite frankly, tall boy bomb just to get rid of the, all that grime because that is well stuck on. Uh, you can see that person is very tired. I am not at all surprised considering the workload that they have. Uh, let's just hire a couple more janitors. Get them to crack on and mop up the floor, although it will take quite some time. And you can see we have some money from shop sales. It is currently sleepy time, so I'll let them all crack on and do their bit and on the right hand side is now completed excellent let's go over to utilities we'll run this electrical cable across and apparently we can't even afford a bit of copper okay just have a quick look at our grading once again so refending rate has increased eight percent i mean fluctuations of a couple of percent are fine we are trending quite low so that's all right punishment at eight reform five security three health has gone up from minus one to zero if someone said, how's your health? Ah, it's zero. You'd probably got, are you alright, mate? But uh, I think, yeah, in this game, that's like, that's, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's not, I've had a Terry's chocolate orange for breakfast levels of health. It's more like, yeah, I've had some cornflakes. Um, whereas five would be like avocado, etc. Other foods are available. Not from the cheap supermarkets, but you can get others. Uh, let's move this across and we're probably going to run the electrical cable oop north and oh 360 no scope cash monies uh, that's not gonna work out at all okay i will just calmly sit here and no i'm not can't be bothered with that don't have time for waiting um although i guess that's what you have got time for anyway we're just gonna have a quick look at the staff room we can see that there's apparently a very 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 dirty corner here don't know what that's all about. Uh, we have got the kennel that's placed in, and we probably have the right amount of K9 units. I'm just going to see if one of them's been leashed on the footbridge. No, they're actually okay there. I don't know if there's actually been a patch since uh, since the last episode, and maybe footbridges have fixed it, or maybe just a good break has uh, sorted itself out. Who knows? Who knows? Let's just go back to electrical cable, run that up, and that should connect all of that up. Strangely, these floodlights here don't seem to require electricity. They have a little perpetual motion machine inside them, and all of the magic that goes with that. It looks like it to be LED as well. Yeah. So, uh, what we're going to receive, uh, we're going to receive 8 minimum security prisoners and 11 criminally insane inmates, which should make for quite an interesting arrival and also quite a lot of money. And once again, that oddly is standing over there and I don't know why. Go away. When I say go away, I mean go over, go over there. Job done. We can see that, oh, that's not good. Adam Speed here. Quite ironic since they're very fast at the moment at uh, punching the air yeah status agitated you can see there's several of these that uh, are sadly in an agitated state we've never gone past this second bar there's part of me wants to let them go of that bar just to see what would happen but then we are willingly neglecting the needs and uh, status which i don't think is the right approach really anyway is there anything we can do to save some cash because quite frankly it is becoming a bit of an issue although it won't be an issue when we get this arrival in well a couple of seconds really so once they're in we'll have enough cash to connect up these toilets and strangely these are without power oh that's because i haven't ran the 
power cable across. Now I have, and the electrical, oh sorry, the, the water can just, just run like that. I don't think we need much more. So we have got our new intake. Let me just go over to intelligence and informants. We can see we've got, wow, a fairly sedate set of low risk prisoners. No traits that I can see there. We have volatile, criminal incident. They've, they've all got criminal incident, so I'm not going to reread on that one. But we've got volatile, stoical, strong, quick, uh, stoical, fearless, and yeah, that's all of those, really. So, that's how it is. 36 grand. How much do you get each? Oh, you get three grand a piece. Fair enough. Okay, so I think we will then leave it there for this episode, and oh, that's just triggered. So, someone... It's got something that they shouldn't have, or it's an erroneous result. We will never know until we actually do know when they're searched. So yeah, next episode, I think what we'll do is go ahead and add in some more of the uh, psychiatrist officers. I think doubling that up would be the way to go, considering the intake we've just received. Probably putting in some some bits around here as well and all of the the green spaces that we should have because there's a lot of a lot of buildings that we don't yet have. I think we should also focus on maybe getting some solitary solitary i think would be a decent thing to get i'm probably going to place that around here perhaps there's still these two areas that we just don't have uh, any real sort of desire to place anything in there no real not really do we have any thing that we need i don't think although we could fit one of these in there i'm guessing let me just go to planning and see just how Hang on, get rid of all that. Let's just see roughly what that would be. So it is a 45 by 35, roughly. And yeah, could fit in. Could fit one of those in there. We could fit another set of this into a cell block E. We could do that. I mean, all we really need is the protective custody, some solitary, and that sort of thing. We'll see what happens. We're in a state of flux, so yeah, we'll see exactly what we can do next episode. So, as always, hope you have enjoyed this video on the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.